Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different and it's not actually going to be working on the 335. As you guys can see from the title of the video, I have a question for you guys. I don't really know what I should personally do with the funding that I currently have. But before we actually get into that, I actually just wanted to like just show you guys how much you guys are just killing it with the channel. I actually just went ahead and flipped over the, the actual addresses so now you guys see the addresses. but. Look at the amount of orders. What I went ahead and did is that the first six people who purchased the decals went ahead and got the overlays for the E90. So I hooked up the people who were the first ones to actually purchase them. And the people that got them afterwards got the decals as well. So thank you guys so much. So before I actually start this video, I just want to go over all the names of people who actually purchased the decals and supported the channel. Nick Maimoni, shout out to you my guy. He actually sent me how to pronounce his last name. So uh, shout out to you my guy, I appreciate that. James Henry, shout out to you dude. Christopher Majono, thank you so much. Felix Nente, I appreciate it brother. Uh, getting over to the actual lucky group of people, I'm going to go ahead and announce your guys' names so you guys are going to be expecting this in the mail. So V Droid Mania, I'm really bad with last names but that's that. Christopher Almanzar, shout out to you my guy, I really appreciate the purchase. Dylan Hollenbeck, thank you so much for the purchase. Honestly, supporting the channel so much, more than you guys can think. El Hassan Alani, shout out to you, my guy. Thank you so much. Abdul Hanan Chad Chadhari, I always have, you need to help me pronounce your last name. I'm pretty sure you purchased something before. So shout out to you, my guy. Always supporting the channel. Thank you so much. And Fernando Versega, thank you so much. Actually, I think you got the, the luckiest one, in my opinion, so... Shout out to you, my guy. Thank you so much. Now, getting to the topic of this video, as you guys know, college did start up, which means videos I'm trying to still do every two days. And this is one of those kind of videos that I didn't have enough time to record something like 335. So I actually just wanted to make this video um, to get you guys' opinion on what my, you know, what I'm going to be doing. So as you guys know, the 335i has just been such a blessed build. A lot of you guys have been supporting the car. Um, all these, you know, purchases are going straight to the 335i. But I've been also saving up my, my ad revenue, saving up through a couple other things like flipping some things on eBay and stuff like that. And I'm making enough money on the side to pretty much save up for something I've been meaning to do for a long time. And that is whether or not I should actually fix my 330i transmission. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but my transmission currently jerks in first and second gear gear and on fifth gear it actually slips if I floor it the, the RPM the RPMs would just go crazy and then I get like a transmission light so I just avoid fifth gear and I just go into sixth gear with the 330i so this is my daily not my 335 my 330i it's having it's been having these problems it's just been getting worse and worse and worse I heard that the Megatronics uh, sleeves and replacing the fluids and the pan and some other sleeves could fix the problem, but that's a possibility and it's very, very, very expensive. The fluids alone are about $200. So I never actually wanted to actually fix this transmission. I just really just who cares about it at this point. So I'm honestly really hyped about it, but at the same time, this $1,000 could be used on the 335i, but this is money I kind of saved for maintenance, stuff like that. That's what that you know that will come up and surprise me. For me personally, I can deal with the 330i. I can deal with the transmission. You know, I, I got used to it. But at the same time, I'm actually having second thoughts of whether I should keep it or not. It's about to be paid off. It's like under 2,000 left on the car about to be paid off and as a content creator I constantly want to get builds for you guys so I'm not even done with the 335 and I plan on keeping this car long term and what I mean by long term is that at least a year or two you know as a content creator I do have to move on if I if my channel grows you know God willing I might keep it but as of now when I finish this one I don't see myself having the funds to purchase another build without getting rid of one of my two cars so I figured it's gonna be really hard to sell it with the mess of transmission no one else is gonna be able to understand the transmission how it shifts and this this and that because I, I got used to it through going through the problems that it gives you when you miss shift. But yeah, I'm assuming that if I fix the transmission for that under the thousand dollars, I'll be able to sell for a whole lot more than you know selling it with the mess of trainee. It only has 78,000 miles, it's a clean title. So I want you guys' opinion. Should I go ahead and fix the transmission or should I use those funds toward the 335 right now and just sell the 330i as is? I really don't know. It's kind of like a hard thing for me because I'm scared that you know maybe a month later the transmission fails before I actually pay off the car and I'll be done. I'll be dealing with the exact same transmission issues. I mean, I heard they're pretty solid transmissions, so I, I think I just got unlucky with my you know my current transmission setup. I don't want to ramble anymore, but if you guys can please give me your opinions down below. That's what I've been literally um, doing the past two days since the 335i. I've been trying to. I also got headlight and brake done on the 335, so that's what I've been doing. Headlight and brake is done, all the bulbs, you know, everything's working, brakes are good, wheels are good, everything is good. 
So what we got left is pretty much smog on that car, but in the meantime, I've been, you know, I went to a couple of dismantle shops, a couple mechanics, and I've came down to under a thousand dollars for this repair, a little under a thousand. And it comes about a one month warranty, and if it doesn't work, they end up replacing it with another tranny or something like that. So I have at least a month of, you know, solid, with a solid peace of mind. But uh, yeah, guys, I just want you guys' opinions. So without further ado, I'm going to end this video. I just want you guys' feedback down below that I mean the world. I'm going to try to edit this and make it as short as possible. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you guys want to support the channel, be shout out in the next video. Make sure to check out the link down below. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.